All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Targetron mod, which was originally made by user Jarsicon and is now being maintained by users Jinx and Hashashin. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a convenient but very simple tool to allow you to either target or even switch over to controlling any of the craft in your solar system, which is a wonderful thing. So let's jump into this ion-powered space probe I have here, and let's have a look at how all this works. Now, of course, in-game already you can target or switch over to controlling other vessels through the map mode, and it's, you know, pretty easy, but what if you had just a list of things right here in your flight? Well, that's where Targetron comes in to make it just a little bit more convenient. And to turn it on, all we need to do is hit this nice, lovely new Targetron button here, which will bring up our Targetron UI, which is pretty self-explanatory, but let's go over everything we do have here. Now, first is the shiny green button, which will minimize the UI if you need it temporarily out of the way. And of course, if you need to turn it off altogether, you can just hit the button over here. So whichever you do prefer. We then have a sorting button here for our list of various ships, we can either, of course, sort by name, descending, ascending, distance, descending, and ascending. So you have the four different options for sorting, which is quite handy. We then, right up at the top here, have the indicator of what ship we are currently targeting, and at the moment it is none, since we have not targeted anything yet. And then at the bottom, we have the same filters that you see in the tracking station to allow you to turn off all of the different kinds of ships or activate them to bring up more, such as space objects here to bring up all the freaking asteroids. There we go, good times. And yeah, so a nice convenient little view and made even easier to find the exact ship you are looking for if you just want to go right here and you can type in what you need and it'll start filtering out that list by whatever you start to type. Again, very convenient to have. And if you need it to be bigger, especially if you have a lot of objects, well, you can always grab on the side and make it to whatever size you do require. Again, convenient. Now, as for the list in here, we have the list of ships, our distance to them, and then the two buttons we have here, one will target and one will switch over to control that vessel instead. So if we say uh, target this survey satellite here, we now have up at the top, it's saying that we are targeting survey sat one. The survey sat here is highlighted, unlike the green bits over here. And of course, if we go into the map mode, you can see that we are targeting that orbit now, and if we switch to any of the others, it updates in kind, which is very handy. And again, not only is it targeting, but if we want, we can switch over to controlling this survey satellite, and there we are, we are now in space. Now, you'll notice two things have happened when we switched over. One, we're now targeting an asteroid, and that is actually because I was targeting this uh, asteroid before I started recording. It will remember what you were targeting last. And even though, of course, I don't have that filtered in, well, there it is. It is that asteroid there, and it's still targeting it, which is very nice to be able to have that sort of memory in there. And the second thing is the odd name of that space probe that we just left. Yeah, it's kind of an odd bug in this. I, I don't know if it's something that can be fixed, but um, if you leave a spacecraft as the default name, which that ion-powered space probe was most certainly left as the default name, it comes up with a random string of uh, numbers here for its name in this UI. If we actually go back to the map and click on that thing, oh god, it's hidden in the space center. Uh, no, no, that's the island airfield. But yeah, as you can see it there in green, ion powered space probe. But in here, it shows it as that. Now, if we went back to that ship, changed its name, and then came back, you would see that it is 
you know, whatever name we gave it, just like these ion probes that I renamed here, and of course the survey satellite itself that I also did rename. So yeah, kind of an odd glitch, but considering most people rename their crafts anyways, at least everyone I've ever met who plays this game, I don't see it as too big of an issue, and it's something very easy to fix by just right-clicking on your ship and hitting Rename Vessel. But yes, that is really all there is to the Targatron mod. It is a simple but convenient little tool to allow you to more easily target the things you wish to target, and even switch over to controlling them if you so desire. So that is really going to be it for this episode. Not much else to go over, so if you'd like to have a look at this mod for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description, as per usual. But that is going to be it for today, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!